friends, we have a new story in our my books today, and it is Kitoto the Mighty. And over here on the side where it says prepare to read, a folk tale is a traditional story that has been passed down orally from one generation to another and includes the beliefs of a culture. So that just means that they've told it to each other. They've not read this story for generations. They've been telling it to each other. And authors of folk tales tell the story through the plot or the main events of the story. Folk tales include a lesson learned. Folk tales in, might include creatures with special talents or animals that speak and have other human qualities. So, we've got some animals on the picture here so far. I think we're gonna have some animals with some human qualities in our story. And this story has one of my least favorite animals as the character, but he's a pretty good character. High in the sky, a hawk circled and searched. Then, swift as an arrow, he dropped to the ground. Barely ahead of the hawk's claws, Kitoto darted into a bush. The little mouse, who had never learned to dig burrows, hid there, with nothing to eat, all day. The next morning, before the sun was up, or the hawk awoke, Kitoto scurried hungrily across the savanna. He found a fallen boobab fruit, but another creature had seen it first, and the delicious seeds were gone. That is when the hungry little mouse heard the sound of a big rushing river. Cautiously, he approached the river bank and watched the angry water sweep away huge trees and rocks. How powerful the river is, thought Kitoto. And he had an idea. I am Kitoto the, the mouse, small and weak, he cried to the river. I wish to make friends with you. With a friend like you to protect me, I won't have to go hungry for fear of the hawk. You must be the most powerful of all the beings. Not so, roared the river. The sun can protect you better, for he is far more powerful than I. He burns me to a trickle in the dry season. The sun is the most powerful being. The river wo wove a beautiful nest of steam, placed Kitoto inside, and gently blew it above the trees and mountains into the soft sunlight. Why, I am bigger than the savanna, Kitoto marveled as the earth gr below grew smaller and smaller. He felt very pleased with himself. Still, he had never in his life imagined making friends with one as powerful as the sun. I must do my best to impress him, Kitoto decided as he arrived at the sun's home late in the day. Sparks swirled as the weary sun stoked and fanned his dying log fire. Kitoto puffed himself up importantly. I am Kitoto the Mighty, master of the savannah, he announced. I wish to make friends with the most powerful being. I thought it was the river, but no, the river tells me it is you. The sun wrapped in a blanket, shivered in the chill of dusk. Not so, he replied. There is one far more powerful than I who gathers the clouds and hides the savannah from, from my view. The wind is the most powerful being. In the morning, the sun sent Kitoto across the heavens on a beam of a fresh log fire. Kitoto peered at the savannah, small as a nut, far, far below, and felt very grand indeed. He found the wind hard at work, tugging the clouds together. I am Kitoto the Great, king of the savannah, he declared. I wish to make friends with the most powerful being. I thought it was the river who told me it was the sun, but no, the sun tells me it is you. Not so, replied the wind. There is one far more powerful than I. One I cannot tug with my strong braids, however hard I try. The mountain is the most powerful being. With the longest of her braids, the wind swung Kitoto away to a distant mountain peak. I am Kitoto the Magnificent, Emperor of the Savannah, the little mouse proclaimed to the mountain. I wish to make friends with the most powerful being. I thought it was the river who told me it was the sun, who told me it was the wind, but no, the wind tells me it is you. Not so, thundered the majestic mountain. There is one far more powerful than I who chomps away at my roots. Surely this creature whom I have felt but never seen must be the most powerful being of all. Then the mountain rumbled and opened wide, allowing Kitoto to enter. 
down, down, Katoto scampered through the dark pathways deep to the root of the mountain. There, he found himself in a huge maze of tunnels, archways, halls, and chambers. The walls were cool and smooth and smelled pleasantly. Tiny, shiny pebbles lit the way. At every bend, Katoto expected to see a giant loom before him. For a giant, it must be, he thought, to carve such a world out of the mountain. A sound from the shadows startled him. In his fear, Katoto forgot to be mighty or great, master, king, or emperor. Please do not harm me, he pleaded with the unseen giant. It is only Katoto the mouse, small and weak. I wish to make friends with you, the most powerful of all beings. With you to protect me, I won't have to go hungry for fear of the hawk. Katoto waited, trembling. From the shadows, a figure stepped forward. Katoto stared in amazement as the figure bowed. I am Kigego, the mountain mouse. Welcome to my home. Your home? You built all this? Katoto asked. The paths, the tunnels, everything? Everything, replied Kigego. With nothing more than my teeth and a lot of hard work, her eyes glowed proudly. Come. Like old friends, the two mice explored the winding pathways. They enjoyed a game of hide and seek in the mazes. They played catch with shiny pebbles. Then they fell asleep on cushions of soft earth. When they awoke, Kigego unearthed a sumptuous hoard of bulbs, tubers, and roots. I'll teach you the secrets of the ground, she promised, chuckling. Kitoto chuckled back and said, and I will teach you the secrets of the savannah. High in the sky, a hawk circled and searched. Deep at the root of a mountain, two friends chewed merrily away. And after the hawk had gone to sleep, they ventured out to enjoy the sweet, cool night air. To this very day, few would guess that the mouse is the most powerful being on the big wide savanna. But the rushing river, the weary sun, the tugging wind, even the majestic mountain will tell you this is so.